Well, thank you, John, and welcome everyone. And I hope you're all tuned in. I'd like to acknowledge first the previous speaker. So I think it shared some exciting new technology. Also the work done by the Northern Gulf Resource Management Group in putting this eBeach series of webinars together. I think this is such a great platform to share new ideas and information. Like it or not, technology is going to play a massive part in the beef industry moving forward. To remain competitive, it seems the industry has been challenged and driven to manage large numbers of stock with less people. The key is to embrace change and by incorporating technology into the beef producing industry, the potential gains are massive and exciting. Today, I'd like to talk about early preg testing technology. This has developed over a number of years with other beef producing countries around the world. And now many beef breeding properties throughout Australia are starting to utilize this proven technology and are gaining the benefits. I believe this technology has a lot to offer the extensive Northern beef herd. And we're now seeing several of these large operations starting to embrace this. In any beef breeding enterprise, irrespective of the size of the herd, the identification and possible culling of unproductive stock is essential to maximize herd profitability. Pregnancy testing is one of the most important tools to achieve this. Now, a good question to ask, is a breeding cow really a breeder if she's not back in calf and due to calve at the ideal time of the season? By not identifying and retaining empty cows, this creates a slow and costly exercise in the attempt to build depleted herd numbers after a drought. The cattle business is no different to any other business. It can be compared to a retail business in town as the same principles apply. If this retail business holds a portion of stock which sits on the shelf and does not sell for two years, this stock generates no income. While at the same time, this stock is still incurring a proportion of fixed costs and wages within that business. The overall net profit of that business is going to suffer. It makes little sense to feed grass to non-productive stock that is essentially stock sitting on the shelf. In fact, you'd be better off feeding someone else's cattle and being paid an adjustment fee. To be profitable, it is essential that grass is allocated to the highest returning animals. In a breeding cow business, the highest returning stock are cows that are back in calf early, which will calve at the start of the season and in turn rear the largest and most profitable weaners. Early pregnancy testing is a valuable management tool which enables better planning for the next 12 months. If turnoff numbers are going to be down, this provides time to identify opportunities and to fill the income gaps. Early identification of empty and late in calf out of season cows in a good season provide an opportunity to add value. This can provide better marketing opportunities and provides potential to increase cash flow and profit margins. These same cows also provide the flexibility if the season turns bad with the ability to unload non-performing and the least profitable stock first and quickly without compromising the most valuable and profitable stock in the herd, which is going to produce the bulk of the next 12 months income. This not only improves overall herd management, it minimizes unnecessary feed costs. The business is better positioned with financiers who always place considerable attention on future cash flow projections. The signs of disease and various abnormalities responsible for infertility in cows can be identified along with the occasional free martin heifer. Low pregnancy rates in a particular mob, for example, may indicate problems with an individual bull. Poor fertility throughout the whole herd may be caused by infectious disease or perhaps inadequate nutrition prior to joining. One of the biggest challenges in the northern breeder herds is that a cow only has about 83 days to conceive to maintain an annual calving. After calving, a cow generally takes 20 to 30 days to repair herself. With boss syndicates type cattle, this repair period can take anywhere from 60 to 120 days. This means if cows are joined for longer than 83 days, then an annual calf is unachievable. For northern breeder herds, this is an impossible and unrealistic goal. And unfortunately, this results with bulls in all year round, long drawn out carvings. This then imposes its own unique set of challenges. A simple strategy to help manage this challenge is an early practicing program. The earlier this is performed, 
the earlier crucial management decisions can be made and greater the financial returns. In northern herds with 12-month join-ins and lower weaning rates, this can provide additional cash flow along with the added benefit of reducing lick costs and also better allocation of available grass to productive breeders. An early pre-existing program can also enhance considerably to the long-term genetic gains within a herd. With the use now of animal ID software, individual animal lifetime performance can now be easily recorded and measured. Poor performing breeders can be identified and removed. Due to prolonged drought conditions, many herds now have long drawn out calvings. Without pregnancy testing, empty cows will not be identified as empty until the end of the calving period, which may be five months or more from weaning. In many herds, there is a considerable opportunity to tighten this drawn out calving period. Preg testing early to identify and remove cows that have conceived late or out of season will start to tighten the calving spread. This would also increase the selection on fertility of the herd as the least productive animals are removed. Replacement heifers should only be kept from cows that conceive and calve early, as it's well proven and documented that lifetime performance from these early conceived heifers far exceeds third cycle or later conceived heifers. Joiner heifers are an excellent group to start and tighten the calving period. Late calvers are the least fertile, and these are the animals most, most likely to have trouble reconceiving the following season. Accuracy is the most important component in any preg testing program. The RepaScan equipment allows for preg testing to be performed two to three months earlier than manual palpation. This can be done safely, reducing operator fatigue and causing minimal stress on the animal. It also provides the ability to preg test large mobs of cows quickly and efficiently, reducing the time cattle spend in the yards. This in turn can significantly reduce overall processing labour costs. In this video, we see cows on a property in central Queensland being preg tested and drafted into groups of over and under four month pregnancies and empties, with cows being bang tailed accordingly. With 250 cows an hour being comfortably and efficiently processed, not only is the cost of staff members on the head bale and bang tailing being taken away, the cost efficiency of the staff down the backyard has been greatly improved. Repascan provides a visual display of the pregnancy rather than relying on feel as with manual palpation. Pregnant and empty cows can be identified as early as four weeks from joining. This method improves animal welfare as this is far less invasive compared to manual palpation. The early drivers of ultrasound come from intensive dairy operations. With cows seen individually twice a day while milking, visible embryonic loss was all too common after manual palpation. With the ability to measure milk production on a daily basis, it was easy to apply a dollar value to loss production due to stress placed on the herd. Ultrasound offered an alternative of an accurate, early, fast, and non-invasive method of preg testing. It also allowed pregnancies to be aged into five-day intervals for improved drying off and calving management. Along with this, it enabled signs of disease to also be detected, such as uterine infections, cysts, mummified calves, and fetal demise. This next video shows preg testing in a 3,000 cow dairy herd. Cows were AI'd for six weeks, followed by backup bulls for a further six weeks. Ultrasound has been used on cows now for about 25 years. The technology and equipment have advanced significantly over this time. Repriscan has developed a convex probe, which provides a massive field of view while preg testing cows when compared to other types of ultrasound equipment. This has been the game changer. Repriscan provides the ability to view and age pregnancies throughout the full length of gestation. This is crucial when preg testing in the northern beef herds with bulls out all year round and drawn out carvings. With correct use of the repo arm, this reduces operator fatigue and allows large numbers of cows to be preg tested quickly and efficiently. Repascan provides the convenience to accurately preg test mobs paddock by paddock. The earlier preg testing is undertaken, the greater the financial returns and the earlier important management systems are made. The key is to maximise production 
and minimize unnecessary feed costs by identifying non-performers. This method is not invasive and easy to use and learn, especially when compared to manual palpation. Staff can be trained, which then improves processing efficiency and reduces costs. Katagra Group provide on-property ripper scan training courses for staff. We have trainers who pass on the experience having pre-tested thousands of cows. These courses are practical and very hands-on. Ripper scan technology has replaced manual palpation in many beef and dairy producing countries around the world. This equipment was first developed in Canada in response to the beef and dairy industry's need to overcome the astounding number of cattle being pre-tested as safety due to early pregnancies not being detected and the overall misdiagnosis of manual palpation. These numerous misdiagnoses have been costing these industries millions of dollars on an annual basis. Non-productive cows are unproductive and should be removed from the herd. Pregnancy testing four to six weeks after the end of joining is a cheap and convenient method of identifying non-pregnant cows at an early stage. Pregnancy testing can also identify herd fertility problems enabling early investigation and action than would otherwise be possible. Okay, thanks, Rick. Look, if uh, anyone's got any questions, I'm happy to throw things open to a Q&A.